Okay, so what's on the agenda today? We have to get the high tunnel squared up, so the outline of it, and squared up. So it's 96 feet by 30 feet, and I think we figured out the whole A squared plus B squared equals the hypotenuse of 105. He's taking a math class right now. <laughs> so he's got a sound. No, we actually have to square it up. That's professional. a professional thing. So you want to make sure you have right angles and it's all squared up and all that good stuff. Lots of pieces and parts. Lots, oh my goodness. Yeah. This is one box. And there's another thing under here. Oh my goodness, are you guys gonna help us? Yes. So our hope is to get a general idea of the assembly process. So we're gonna try to do one of the ribs or trusses with the truss support and just get a feel for what it's like to do that. And then we have to do like 20, I think 26 of those total. Every four feet there's a rib and then that rib, then they all get put together and linked together and then there's a there's a yeah, channel of uh, called the wiggle wire support or wiggle wire wiggle wire channel. And then that kind of ties everything together with the purlins and stuff. And then you put all the pieces together and assemble it. It's a big project ahead. Okay, so we're separating the boxes out into part numbers according to the directions because it's kind of like a giant Lego set. And then we're laying out a rough pattern for the first one to find out what parts we need. And See then we're going like. to assemble that and replicate that. 26 times over again or something like that. But we're just starting with one to see how it goes, right? Yeah, so, so we can just get, get a lay of it and figure it out. Here, can I give it to you? I don't know. Get a general layout going in our heads and on the ground. And then we can pull it up and have one laying there that we'll just we'll just copy from that point forward. Okay. And hopefully we copy correctly the right one from the beginning. <laughs> Okay, finally some cloud cover, figuring some stuff out, making sure it's all working and before we do all these different. Trusses. We need to put up like three or four of them to get a system going. So go as we get the, the trusses length. up or the ribs up. How many trusses are there? 24 or five, I forget, I think it's 25. All of these yeah. posts. There's have Every four feet for 96 feet. So we get this one up and then we get three more assembled on the ground here. Okay. To get them all kind of tipped up and then we'll put the ridge pole, which is this thing that's gonna run across the ridge. And that will help to tie all those trusses together. So then there will be a system of trusses. And this first one was like a test, right? You were making sure you had all the right parts making, in the yeah. right place. Making sure it looked right, it matches pictures. Because you're having to put in, they're not all pre-drilled holes. No, the only drills that are not pre-drilled are, pre -drilled are these are... two on the actual, I think they're called truss support systems. This is your second one that you're doing. Yeah. So we laid it all out and we decided it'll be much easier to set it, do a complete truss on the ground, right? It's a little heavier, and then tip but it's it up. easier than working up there and it helps stiffen it up for when we tip it up. As you install them all, they kind of just start racking into place. So we ended up putting these poles, the upright poles first on, so that we're just tipping it up to there, which may or may not be the idea. There's two there's, posts, two poles here. Yeah. There's the one that is we um, hammered into the ground. The ground post. The ground post. See, Josh knows all the proper terminology. Ground so posts you guys saw in. us do the ground post already. Then this is the second piece that would go on there. And it goes and in the first hole. 
which like I said, this is something we might tweak because after messing with it, it might be easier to have a little more height to tip it up and, and walk it up here versus it oh, being shorter. Oh, and you can make them taller. So we'll make them actually taller on the ground and re, but I, it was something we played with here, so. Yeah, we'll have to kind of see how the, how the series of them go. Because yeah. we're going to have to slide that pole forward and the ridge pole and bring it back. So we're just messing with it. It's our first one. It's not like we're pros doing this. Pull that up. Because <laughs> the first time we tried putting this up, we didn't have this post here. And I was standing on one side over here. And we had um, Mom, Laura Lee, uh, and Marie, and Josh. And we were trying to do it. And we're all I think we would have short. more leverage if we if we put these on. Okay. Is the idea. Is that if yeah, you're pushing to push here, it. You have more leverage. We're on the second truss, yeah. and you guys supports. will get to see see the whole process. And we did order the extra. You can do just the rib itself, but we decided to go with the full rib with truss support because of the wind and the snow. So it was an extra cost, um, but in the long run, I'm hoping it pays off just because. And plus, then, it also gives us the option of of trellising or tethering up lines. Time and growing stuff more vertically. I like seeing those vertical plants when people do Yeah, that. I think uh, if you look up um, Never Sink Farm, yeah. he does a lot of um, vertical. vertical growing with the with tomatoes especially, getting them you know a lot more volume. Yeah. So Never Sink Farm is one that we saw. Um, we're not anywhere close to what he's doing, but. Hey, you gotta start somewhere. There, yeah. And this is a big project. This is quite a big place to start when it comes to. Yeah. 96 to by 30 by 14 feet to the top there, so. Yeah, um, Marie, go stand under there so there can be a visual and put your hands up in the air. Oh, there's Jesse, he's helping too. So it's huge, suddenly we're getting, put your arms out. <laughs> suddenly we're getting um, a visual on how big this is. Marie's, it is nice because Marie's it's, five foot. We went the Gothic one, which is the shape of it, which gives us a full, at least, it gives us a minimum of six feet at the edge of the building, so yeah. you, Instead of coming in at a sharp angle and, and having to duck down or not work against the edge of the building, you're actually getting full uh, functionality of the Range building. Range of motion so, and everything or whatever. So yeah, okay. it gives you a little bit better working space. Okay, good. We've got Grandma on rope one. Wave Grandma. Julianne on rope two. Wave Julianne. Grandpa on supervisor. All right, a lot of work done today. We got the first three ribs, trusses up, and all of the ground post in. I think there was 25 sets total. And we are 96 by 30 by 14 tall. So it is moving along. <laughs> 